Hi everyone! So this is the first part of our Web Systems and Technologies 2 series. So in this particular part, we're going to talk about the introduction to PHP frameworks. Okay? Okay, so PHP frameworks. So what is PHP Frameworks? PHP Frameworks streamline the development of web application written in PHP by providing a basic structure for which to build the web applications. So PHP Frameworks help to promote rapid application development or run, which saves you time, help build more stable application, and reduces the amount of repetitive coding for developers. So the general idea behind the workings of a PHP framework is referred to as Model View Controller or MVC. MVC is an architectural pattern in programming that isolates business logic from the UI allowing one to be modified separately from the others, so also, or also known as the separation of concerns. With MBC, model refers to data, view refers to the presentation layer, and controller refers to the application or business logic. MBC breaks up the development process of an application so you can work on individual elements while others are unaffected okay so why should we use php framework so developer should utilize php frameworks for various reasons but the number one reason is for speeding up the development process okay so reusing code across similar projects will save the developer a substantial amount of time and effort. A framework offers pre-built modules for performing tedious coding tasks like form validation, file uploading, encryption, security, pagination, and so on. So that the developer can spend their time on developing the actual application rather than rebuilding the foundation with each and every project. Okay? So when to use a PHP framework? When working on a project with tight deadlines, utilizing a PHP framework is a huge benefit that can greatly speed up the coding process. Okay? So when you are working on project with substantial amounts of repetitive coding, okay? So PHP framework should be a consideration because it will help make the job much less tedious, okay? Okay, so we have here some sample of PHP framework. So let's start with the Laravel. So Laravel actually, guys, is the number one PHP frameworks nowadays. Then the next, we have the Coding Igniter. So this is the um, PHP framework that we are going to use in this particular series. Okay? Then we have also Symfony. Then Send Framework. You will PHP. Falcon. Slim Framework. Yee framework and also cake PHP. Actually, there are still a lot of frameworks out there that we can explore. So it's up to you na lang guys kung alin yung gagamitin nyo. But for this particular series, yung gagamitin natin is yung code igniter. Okay? Okay. Model view controller. CodeIgniter is based on the model view controller development pattern. MBC is a software approach that separates application logic from presentation. In practice, it permits your web pages to contain minimal scripting 
since the presentation is separate from the PHP scripting. Okay, so the model. So the model represents your data structure. So typically, your model classes will contain functions that help you retrieve, insert, and update information in your database. Okay, so if you are going to manipulate database, guys, then we're going to undo that on the part of the model. Okay, so model is not just intended for database manipulation. If there are other processes, um, like just simple filtering or validation, something like that, then we can also place that on the model part. Okay, then view. View is the information that is being presented to the user. So a view will normally be a web page, but in Coding Igniter, a view can also be a page fragment, like header or footer. So it can also be an RSS page or any other type of page. So basically guys, pagdating sa view, this is the one that talks about the HTML codes or yung mga template files natin. Dito natin ilalagay sa view part. Okay? So, controller. Controller serves as the intermediary between the model, the view, and any other devices, I mean resources, needed to process the HTTP request and generate a web page. Okay, so it will just serve basically as a bridge between those resources. Okay? Okay, so we have he here a graphical example of model view controller. So basically, um, the process always starts sa user. So the user will try to um, access a specific website. So we have here yung sample natin. The user tried to request having this kind of URL of example.com slash customers slash three. So the tree here will be the ID of the customer. Now, once that happen, then mapupunta yung process or request sa controller side. So sa controller, sabi dito, controller request for customer with ID tree from model. So from the controller, it will try to communicate with the model. Okay? So in the part of the model, model searches database for customer with ID tree. Now, um, if mahanap niya or kahit hindi niya mahanap, the model will return back a value or a data back to the controller. And what will happen next, the controller will pass that data to the view. And in the part of the view, view formats customer data into human readable format. Sends to browser after doing that formatting. Then, ibabalik na naman niya sa browser para ma-display at makita na ng user. Yun na yung nakikita natin sa mga monitor natin. Okay? So, that's the basic flow of MBC. So, as you will notice, guys, walang direct um, connection yung model at saka yung view. It always goes to the controller. It is because yung controller nga is the intermediary between the model and the view. It will serve as the bridge between these two resources. Okay? Okay, so now let's try to talk about the code igniter. So what is code igniter? Code igniter is an application development framework, a toolkit, for people who build websites using PHP. Its goal is to enable you to develop projects much faster than you could if you were writing code from scratch by providing a rich set of libraries for commonly needed tasks, as well as a simple interface and logical structure to access these libraries. Okay. So, CodeIgniter lets you creatively focus on your project by minimizing the amount of code needed for the given task. Okay, so why CodeIgniter? 
Okay, so we have 10 reasons actually um, why we're going to use CodeIgniter. First is, it is a framework with a small footprint. Okay, so CodeIgniter 3 has a 2MB download including the user guide. Then the CodeIgniter 4 is a 1.2 MB download plus 6 MB for the user guide. Okay, so if you are going to compare this with the other um, page per framework, um, yung iba kasi mabibigat, um, mabigat yung mga files nila, it requires more resources comparing to CodeIgniter. Okay, the second reason is simple solutions over complexity. CodeIgniter encourages MBC but does not force it on you. Okay. So, we also have clear documentation. CodeIgniter consistently outperforms most of its competitors. So, same thing with the exceptional performance ng CodeIgniter. Okay? Then, we have strong security. CodeIgniter take security seriously with built-in protection against CS, RF, and XSS attacks. Version 4 adds contacts sensitive escaping and CSP. Okay. Then the sixth reason is that it has nearly zero configuration. Much of the code igniter configuration is done by convention. For instance, putting models in a model folder, there are still a number of configuration options available through scripts in the config folder okay so code igniter is free the next one code igniter is licensed under the mit license so you can use it however you please okay next is code igniter is lightweight truly lightweight the core system requires only a few very small libraries this is in stark contrast to many frameworks that require significantly more resources. So additional libraries are loaded dynamically upon request based on your needs for a given process. So the base system is very lean and quite fast. Okay. Then the ninth reason is that M I mean CodeIgniter uses MBC. Okay. CodeIgniter uses the model view controller approach, which allows a great separation between logic and presentation. This is particularly good for projects in which designers or the front-end developers are working with your template files, while the other developers like back-end developers works on the other parts of the resources like the database manipulation. Okay. Then the last one is CodeIgniter is extensible. Okay, so the system can easily be extended through the use of your own libraries, helpers, or through class extensions, or system hooks. Okay. Okay, so I think that's it guys. So, I hope you learned something new today and also it gives you a clear idea regarding our topic which is about the introduction to page framework. If it gives you a clear idea and you learn on this part, then please click thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified if there are new videos that we're going to upload. Okay guys, so just like I always say, just keep practicing and Never stop learning. Thank you for watching, guys, and goodbye for now.